Hello and welcome back to the Contingency Server. I, Palladium PD, am your host. And 1.8 is coming to town. Yeah, the hype is real. Um, something happened to my map. I have no idea where it is. But that actually is not a huge problem because, number one, I can easily make another one. Number two, I have a ma mapping project in mind. But for now, today, we are doing something else. We have to build a pork farm because Dereth is needing some raw pork for his villager operation. And apparently we don't really have a pig farm on the server apart from the one I'm about to build. So I guess it's time to go. Now, I want to build it sort of far enough away from a base that I don't hear the pigs, but not so far that they're unloaded while I'm busy working away there. So I picked this spot. Um, this kind of vertical line was already dug out, so kind of serendipity. Um, but we're going to have to replace all the blocks anyway, so it's not a big deal. I just made myself like lots of every redstone component so I don't run out, you know. <laughs> um, I decided to work with orange stained clay for this build too. I think it should look okay. Uh, it's also just what I had on hand, so, you know. Okay, we need a chest to go here. Chest food, food chest. And, oh, I forgot to get some stone brick. I need to get some stone brick. Um, my texture pack is a bit derpy. If you see around the edges of my XP bar, the sort of corner things are not transparent like they're supposed to be. I don't know what the deal with that is. Um, reorganize my storage room a bit. I've got my slimes down there and uh, sugar cane here, bones, or, you know, general mob drops over there. Bit more organization to come, but for now, I think it's good. I think we got the new stuff here, yes. Okay. Two stacks ought to do it, I think. Let's do that. And we return. Hmm. Interesting. That must be where an acacia tree once stood. So hopper, it goeth like that. And then the soul sand. And this is where the piggies land, ultimately. So let's create their death chamber. Gonna have a dispenser back there. Um, I'll be periodically switching to my creative world where I've got my stuff all planned out. So just gonna have a quick look to see what I need to build next. Oh, we actually need some stone, so it's good that I've got silk touch on me. Haha, <laughs> because I need a button. LOL. Okay, so... Next thing we need is lay button. And lay button can... I think it can be on that block. So we need to kind of clear out some space here. More towards this side, because this is where the redstone is going to be housed, by and large. breaking still sounds really weird. I think it's because my volume is super low. Like if you set the volume low and then the blocks are also low, they sound odd. Yeah. But I don't like them that loud. Maybe we can have them at 50. Okay. Good. So we need... <coughs> Excuse me. We need to have a transparentish block over here, like so. No, like. Like so. And then over here, we need a stick a piston. Yeah, to 
is good. And we can have redstone going there. Okay, so let's figure this out now. Uh, we need these this block. Where should I put the button? Should I put the button here? I reckon so. Yeah. Okay, let's just clear some space so we can get through. Okay, having a look again at my designs because I'm not as smart as you think I am. <laughs> Alright, so we need to power this with redstone. Yep. And this guy needs to be powered also. Um, yeah. Okay, it's starting to come back to me, sort of. Can't have that there. So this guy need well, let's take the signal out the button. Let's do that and that, and then gonna have some more stuff over here. So we need like this and this and this. And then there and there. Oh, I should put a block. Like so. There we go. So now when we press this button. Oh. Now, when we press this button, this forms a short pulse. So let's not break any redstone as we try to keep working. Short pulse comes out of here, and that's going to go into the dispenser, I think. I believe that's how it's supposed to go. Uh, we're going to send it out this way. Into the dispenser. And then... A couple of ticks later, it's going into the person. So we need this like so. Let's see if that'll serve our needs. Okay, yeah, that's good. So what we're going to have in here is a flint and steel. So we press the button, it lights this block on fire and then immediately this piston will push the fire block so that the fire gets deleted and the pigs will sit here and they'll be on fire but they will not burn to death that's the idea here so that is our sort of killing system let's close it up a little bit and we're gonna have nether brick uh, well I want nether brick here but I guess I can't have it. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, button needs to be moved, apparently. So let's take this redstone and just sort of move it over a block, I guess. space there at all. And maybe I should move this forward one. You see why I don't do redstone on camera much? It's just slow. And I find it really hard to concentrate on the two things at once, as I've mentioned in previous videos long time ago. 
Okay, that's good enough. For that for now, we'll just put those there and we want to also put them up. I think we'll just go all the way up, it doesn't matter, because we're going to use uh, cobweb to break their fall, like so. Um, yeah, it's probably a good idea just to fill this up now, just to save time later. Good. Uh, now the button kind of should have the button like maybe in one like that. We can dig this out a bit too. Oh no, the piston's there. Okay, so we can't do it that way then it will not be symmetrical. And I like symmetry. I have to confess. Okay, so we need a redstone there and we need it there. And the button can go there. That should work out. Seems to. Let's just check with the flint and steel that it actually does get set on fire. That's important. I wonder if there's one like in one of these boxes. No. Ooh, villager trading. I know the villagers trade flints and steel, so aha, yes. Here we go. I've switched back to eating steak, by the way, because it's just better. It just is. Okay. Is it too quick? Let's see if I get set on fire when I'm in there. I'm going to activate that button because I could just build a quick line that does it. Apparently there's not enough delay. I don't know why that is. Server lag perhaps? It's always possible I just didn't build this right. Either way, we need one more tick there then. So let's try again. That'll do. Am I going nuts here? What's going on? Maybe we need to try it on an animal. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, I have a sheep here. We're testing again. Button, where's the button? Screw it. Okay, sheep gets set on fire. You should not die though. Okay, so he died. That was interesting. Maybe he had less health to start with. It's not impossible. So hard to tell because this is on a server and things sometimes behave a bit differently on a server. Let's try a pig. Okay, trying again. This time uh, the timing is on too. So let's see if he gets lit on fire. No, he does not. And on three, he does. Please don't die. 
please don't die, please don't, don't die. Okay, looks like the system works. So three ticks is the way to go. And we can now just kill him. No problem. Oh, there's my butt. Okay, fair enough. All right, so that was working. Good thing I tested it, you know. <laughs> Would be really annoying to have a, uh, not tested that. Let's just say. Okay, good. Um, there's no way to get the XP, really. You don't really need it, but it'd be kind of nice. Yeah, forget it. Okay, ooh, uh, be right back. Okay, we're back, and it's now time to do the top part of the farm, where the pigs will actually be created, bred, and then uh, sent down. So we need a trapdoor, like so. Pigs are going to stand here, and they'll be dropped down here, like so. And we need... The button is going to be like here. Fuck. Maybe I didn't think this through well enough. Anyway, I'm going to blunder ahead and like hope for the best. So here we need this stuff and a repeater. Uh, we should get all the redstone stuff in the right place and we don't really need weapons here because it's a mushroom island so we need you we need another block and then we need to change our perspective we need dispenser oh there it is like so. So this is going to dispense water and the pigs will sort of swim up and we'll be able to feed them. And then we're going to have like a ring of white glass up top. Behind here we need more glass. Um, we need stuff. Nope. Better. Okay, glass goes there. So this piston is going to push the any babies that are still here. They're going to get pushed over there. Need to close that up. So far so good. Okay. Let's clear some space again. Under here we have a lot more redstone, so we need you there, you there, you there, you there, and then just like more stuff. You may recognize this circuit as we built it downstairs as well, I think. Oh, no, we didn't. No, we built a different one. Okay, so we need this. Like so... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. We do need to clear that, though, and put some of that. Let's get blocks over there. That's a bit better. In my shovel! Dang game. Okay, I think that's enough space for the redstone over here, and then we need some space over this side too. Alright, so we need that like so. And then that goes into two repeaters, which need to be on proper blocks. And then that goes into another repeater, that's going to be a proper block there and there. And yeah. So we need to get rid of this too. Let's 
going to be locked. Power. So now, whenever we press the button over here, you should see that repeater switching. It's the same circuit as I used in the destructor map. See? So it's on. We need, we need it to be off by default, so we'll just turn that off again. Now, we need to send the signal. Oh, we don't need that there. We do need that there and that there. Dot torch. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's going to be another dot over here. And I need to change perspective. Uh, and I think we had a, a torch under here as well. Let's just double check that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so far so good. Now we got to take this signal over here. I never claim that my redstone is the most efficient, but it is fun. Like so. Um, wait, we need a repeater there, so that's going to be a dot. Alright, so now the piston is retracted by default. And then we need... Uh, We need you to be a repeater, like so. And we need a signal coming out of that block there. But we need to block that one there. Um, should I make that orange? Well, we'll see, we'll see. This definitely has to be orange, I guess, probably. <laughs> definitely, probably. Um, put a dot there. So that's going to switch the uh, trapdoor now. And then, to cover that, we put a block. Okay, so we can take a look from the front. Obviously we need to change that for uh, orange, or we just need to bring... Let's tidy this up a bit. Oh, you know what we could do? Instead of that is... Oh. Parkour fail. Let's just do that for now. And then same over here. Yeah, it's looking okay. It's not too bad. Not exactly a magnificent work of art, but then it is a pig farm, and it's not necessarily going to be permanent. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so up here, we need to cover some things up. Should have brought some carpet. I guess we can just do this for the time being. Like so. And then... Put a solid block there without worrying? Yes, we can. Okay. And then we need this to be one higher, and then we'll do that. And then I don't have a crafting table. But asked. Okay, we need to cover this all up, so we just put some blocks down. No, not there. And maybe level it out a bit. Give me the dirt. Yes, there we go. I'm trying to dig dirt with a pickaxe like a freaking noob. Oh yeah, I am so pro. OK, 
Okay, that's good. And then we'll just cover most of it with dirt. And a little bit more of this. Yeah. So let's see what, what happens if we press this button now. Pop the uh, guy in. So if we press this button, you should see the water come out. And then if we press it again, see the water. I want that repeated to go on for longer. Something needs to be changed down here. Uh, I think it's, whoa, okay, I think it's that one. Ender pearls? Nope, okay, dig out. Not that one. Uh, let's just check again. So, pressing the button, water's dispensed, we feed the pigs, and then they get pushed down. Sweet! That's working like a charm. Now we just need to get the pigs up here. So I will do that and then I'll show you the results. Okay, I reckon we got uh, pigs ready to go now. I've bred 40 of them, uh, I think. Could be 42 or 41. <laughs> Hard to tell. I think it's supposed, supposed to be 40, so whatever. Hopefully now we can get them to fall down here without too much of a difficulty. Let's see. Really kind of okay, that doesn't cause any problems. So we can break that there and they'll start falling down there and they can't fit out here. So hopefully that shouldn't cause any problems. Yeah, okay, that's good. Let's get the rest of them. Come on, guys. Off you go. Want some food? Oh, I didn't bring any extra food because I didn't want to breed more than 40. I set it up so that I would have exactly 40. Okay, I thought there might be recalcitrant, so the solution to that is ladder. Let me place the water. Come on. Off you go. There you go. Did I not place my ladder? Hmm. Apparently I did not. Okay. Well, it looks like it didn't even matter anyway. Get in. Get in. In. Oh man, I hate these guys so much. In. Yes. Good. One left. Gonna cooperate? No, you're not. Get in. Good job. Okay, now we can get rid of all this stuff. And this. Okay, that is good. Excellent. So, um, I imagine that we can just have a trial run. Let's go get some carrots. I think my carrots are still down here. I've... Whoa! Oh man, I hate it when I do that. I may have some carrots down here. Oh yeah, I got some carrots. I've started to um, remove empty chests. Well, I've removed all the empty chests here down at my old main storage. So just full stuff left now. And I, I moved all of this bulk storage stuff at the back upstairs. So. It's in the main bulk storage building now, which I think is good. 
Hopefully 40 pigs will work out. I don't know if that's too much. It could be that they won't all be able to eat a carrot. We shall have to see. And I may have to do something better with that button because it's a bit inaccessible right now. Yoink. And I definitely need a better way up here. That's true too. Anyway, in the meantime, let's go you, and that should allow us to breed, and we don't want to accidentally eat. Oh, we did accidentally eat a carrot. Okay, whatever then. Okay, let's not drown anybody. I don't think they all get pushed down, like not all the babies go down. Is that pig out? Oh, I guess, yeah. Because we need... We need to make a... A stop. That's a mistake as well. Or uh, overlooking, rather. I knew I had to build it, I just didn't. And he's down here. Great. Well, you can just die. He's probably quite low on health by now. Oh man, just die. Serious. That's what we need to do. That stops him from ever coming out. Hopefully. What the hell? Are they inside the piston? That's not allowed. piston pushing at all? Must do. Looks like it is. Let's double check. Oh yeah, it's pushing. Freaking glitchy Minecraft mobs for serious. Oh man, so annoying. Okay, well let's let's uh, breed some more anyway. After I've eaten my fill, apparently. Well, they've all lined up really well. Okay, apparently that's all we're getting for now. And that is bad. I do not want that to be a case. I have no idea how to fix that. So I'm going to call it an end for now. Um. I'm going to show you something uh, else, and then if I fix this pig farm, then I'll show you next episode. So, back in a sec. Okay, change of plan. I just wanted to show this fully operational. So, I switched out the block underneath the pigs with soul sand. And that was actually how it was in my original design. Like, I designed this farm a long time ago, and the soul sand was part of it, and I had no idea why. But apparently, it stops them from glitching to that piston. So, well, let, let's uh, let's actually check if that is true. So, I'm gonna breed a few here, and we will eat super fast. Can't go for too long because I think the babies will start to drown if you go for too long. So, 28 is fine, and now they should get pushed out, and there should be none in that piston. Okay, I guess that's good. Maybe we should lengthen that signal. That babies don't seem to get completely, like, all pushed out. But otherwise, it seems pretty solid. I think you'll agree. I'm very happy, so now we can move on to the next thing. Whoa, big leg spike. Ooh, okay. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you guys today was my slime farm. Oh, baby. Let's see if we can see some slimes come up. Come on. Come on, I know you want to. Okay, looks like it's a bit quiet down there now. Anyway, there's lots of slime balls. 
So this is obviously an ice stream that's with an elevator. There's an elevator coming up through over here. You can see. And the items are sent over here to this large array of hoppers, so we should have no problem if we get loads and loads of slimes. And if we go out here, we will see where the farm is located. Obviously it's offshore because this is, this is a mushroom island biome and slimes don't spawn in there, but there is a slime chunk right here, which I found using the seed for contingency. And look, we got some slimes ready to go. I know you can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we can't see it too well here, but each of these is like a floor. You can see. Come on, come at me, bro. They don't really fall off, I guess. Um, let's go down to where this stuff is processed. Ooh, lots of slimes hanging around in this place. So down here we got. We need to get rid of this, but uh, for the time being, I guess it's good that it's there because that means I can jump up. In here is water, so I don't really want to grief in there to show you. But the point is, they drown, and then the drops get sent up through the dropper. There you go. They get sent down that stream, and that gets sent straight to my storage system. Sounds like we've got some slimes coming from over there. So you can see them coming in right there. It's been working away nicely. I've been AFK here a bit too because 1.8 is coming soon and then slime behavior is going to change. So I'll actually have to change the farm, I think. Unless I'm just happy with it having a bit lower efficiency. That could be okay too. I'm not really too, too bothered. We'll have to see what kind of demand there is for slime balls, I think. Anyway... That's going to do it for now. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I've definitely enjoyed making it, so please leave a like if you have. Thanks very much for watching. I am PalladiumPD, and I am out.